द बेस ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस इन हिंदुइज्म और फॉर दैट मैटर इन एनी रिलीजन इज द अवेकनिंग ऑफ इनर पावर इन हिंदुइज्म दिस इज डन थ्रू कुंडलिनी तंत्रा इज इफेक्टिव इन कलियुगा राइट इट इज टोल्ड कलो चंडी विनायक इन कलियुगा द वर्शिप ऑफ चंडी एंड विनायक आर द मेजर रिजल्ट गिविंग एंड द वर्शिप दैट इज रिकमेंडेड दैट इज थ्रू तंत्रा ओनली इन दिस तंत्रा टू ऑफ द तंत्राज विच आर हाईली एक्टिव बेनिफिशियल एंड मोस्ट रिजल्ट गिविंग इन कलियुगा आर द कौल तंत्रा एंड समयाचार कौल तंत्रा इज स्पेसिफिकली बेस्ड ऑन कुंडलिनी एंड द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ कुंडली द बेसिक पर्पज विद द एडवेंट ऑफ भक्ति dependency of dependency over godhead have became the norm but in the reality if you look at vedas and if you look at hinduism in the, in its original form it is deeply dependent on awakening your inner power making yourself from human to superhuman that is done through kundalini in this video today we will understand about kundalini how kundalini progresses how you can help the progress about the chakras and a lot of astrological input in between so it is useful for both the spiritual aspirant and also for the astrologer what i have seen see if you get a good guru if you get a capable guru he just by touch just by sight or just by uttering something in your ears can awaken your kundalini altogether this is what happens with vivekananda when ramkrishna keeps his leg on his lap he quickly opens all the chakras and the kundalini of swami ji goes up and comes down in one go and he awakens it but for us normal people the progress of kundalini to be done actually what i have seen that because of not having proper knowledge because of not having proper access to resources or because of all the information that is scattered all over internet that is generally given by uninitiated people or those who don't have first hand experience what happens with people that their kundalini is sometimes gets awakened but the progress of kundalini is hindered so what basically happens you see the muladhar chakra gets activated now this muladhar chakra is connected to sexuality also right so with control over sexuality or even with a lot of sexuality you know today if you go from the western perspective tantra is all about sexuality which is far from truth so what happens basically people either try themselves to you know like progress the kundalini or accidentally it happens the kundalini the muladhar chakra gets activated and after that kundalini is trying to progress upwards but problem happens here either the upper chakras are not open for that particular purpose what happens because the upper chakra is not open kundalini will go and stick to the chakra will not be able to cross it which will give birth to problems related to these chakras now at this particular stage people not knowing how the progress should be done will intensify their spiritual practice which will make up a lot of energy and under the pressure of that energy because the upper chakra is closed kundalini goes into different kundalini goes into different directions producing vikar instability or other such things into human life which gets manifested in the form of disease etc so the understanding is necessary and because we are astro i am into astrology and i believe that is true also that everything can be seen astrologically because it is the great science that our sages have created for us so we'll also we should also understand how through astrology you should assess there is problem in which chakra which chakra needs more work and all of that 
so according to me see the rulership of chakras generally all over internet when you search you will see that people will say muladhar chakra is connected to mars which is wrong muladhar chakra is of prithvi tattva prithvi tattva is ruled by mercury so according to me muladhar chakra should be connected to mercury but very intelligent people take muladhar chakra to be connected to mars because it is red in color now i am not that intelligent and i believe and i think you will also agree that tattva is the basic fundamental hence muladhar chakra i connect to mercury after muladhar chakra comes visuddhi chakra sorry after muladhar chakra comes swadishthan chakra which is ruled by water element and this water element is ruled by venus so swadishthana chakra is ruled by venus the next chakra manipur chakra is ruled by mars because it have the tattva of agni anahata chakra vayu tattva is ruled by saturn and vishuddhi chakras and agnya chakras either tattva is ruled by jupiter finally the sahasrara chakra the topmost chakra is ruled by both sun and saturn the sorry sun and moon now you must be wondering that in this list i have not put rahu and ketu because according to me they don't have any prime role as such you take horoscope of any spiritual aspirant good spiritual aspirant ramana maharishi ramkrishna paramahansa etc you will not see connection of rahu ketu with their ascendants this fantasy of ketu indicates moksha etc is good in fantasy not that good in practice right the manifestation of tattvas according to tantra happens from either air fire water earth in the same manner they rule the chakras from top to the bottom whereas the progress should be from bottom to the top now all over kundalini is indicated by kundalini is ruled by mercury which is ruled by vinayaki also vinayaki is a female form of ganesha so the prime point is that when mercury is powerful when mercury is connected to ascendant ascendant lord then the progress of kundalini is very smooth such people will have a combination of automatically kundalini awake even if they do little bit of effort it will be easily awake. if you don't have a powerful mercury if you don't have mercury connected to ascendant then should you not try for kundalini awakening of course as a human you should try for kundalini awakening because it is the door to spiritual awakening just you will have to try a little bit more but that's all fine right because it needs to be done because it needs to be done it is essential for the spiritual progress there is no two way about it that you should try it muladhara chakra is ruled by ganesha ruled by narasimhi and ruled by shakti narasimhi is also known by the name of pratyangira ganesha is the god so for muladhara chakra ganesha pratyangira or what is called atharvan bhadrakali is your go to if only if you are into shakti worship only if you are reciting durga saptashati for more than 3 years go into devi worship otherwise go with gods so doing things related to ganesha right celebrating ganesh chaturthi which comes like worshiping ganesha in you know all the in, in the two chaturthis that fall that fall every month and specifically visiting the temples of ganesha activates the muladhar chakra visiting the temple of brahma activates sudishthan chakra and because brahma is not popularly worshiped brahma is also present in the form of local gods and goddesses so any local god that is there in your area for example golu devata in uttarakhand or any specific local folklore deity which have must much importance in that particular area activates and purifies swadishthan chakra visiting to the temple will be activation of swadishthan chakra whereas a sincere prayer 
following you know doing the mantra of the deity doing fast for the deity and following the rituals that are observed in the temple will be for purification of swadhisthana chakra and for all the other chakras manipur chakra is ruled by vishnu so visiting the temples of vishnu following the rituals etc related to vishnu will be purification of manipur chakra visiting the temples of vishnu will be purification of manipur also the god is connected to manipur chakra is varahi whose name should not be taken in day time but this is night time when i am making the video hence i am taking the name there is a popular varahi temple around ramkrishna mission in delhi where you can visit otherwise there are hidden varahi temples or scattered all over india also but that i will not mention so the sthana chakra is ruled by indrani who is the wife of indra you will generally not find temple for her but in jagannath temple complex an idol of indrani can be found out so you can go to jagannath temple also in i think in indore there is a temple dedicated to indra you can go there for swadhisthana chakra also anahat chakra which is ruled by saturn is co ruled by rudra right for rudra rudra gayatri is recommended Rudra is a form of Shiva, so going to Shiva temple is recommended, and the goddess connected with it is Vaishnavi. Vaishnavi is worshipped in Vaishnu Devi, hence for Anahat Chakra, Vaishnu Devi is the thing. Vishuddha Chakra, which is connected to Jupiter, is ruled by Jivatma. Now Jivatma basically indicates a super soul, and the belief that every human is an incarnation of God. serving human is serving god living by such principles work for the purification of vishuddhi chakra vishuddhi chakra also kaumari rules vishuddhi chakra so visiting the temple of any goddess who is famed for her virginity or being unmarried such as kanya kumari etc or any goddess temple of durga etc who are not considered as married will be for vishuddhi chakra agnya chakra which is also ruled by jupiter is ruled by paramatma paramatma in tantra is also shiva so those temples where shiva is primarily worshiped specifically ancient shiva temples going to jyotirlingas specifically is an activation of agnya chakra is purification of agnya chakra if you follow the rituals the goddess connected is maheshwari that is a form of goddess parvati right sahasrar chakra which is connected to sun and moon both is connected to sadashiva it is connected to atmalinga it is connected to worship of super soul so this is once again connected to all the jyotirlingas and all the shakti peethas so visiting one jyotirling and one shakti peeth one after another is an activation of sahasrar chakra the epitome of chakras right now see in the progress of kundalini as i have told you right like kundalini progresses so generally what people do there is a photo for kundalini there is an image for kundalini that is available right it is all over internet people start meditating over them that is a problem according to me this is the problem meditation over kundalini should not be done by uninitiated people so when you are uninitiated what you should do there are secrets and i am talking about it right so i am going to share a slide with you that i have made particularly for this video but remember that the image of chakra is there that is only for the representation purpose and only until and unless you are properly initiated meditation on the chakra i will not recommend right so the first chakra that comes there is as i have already told you is mooladhara chakra now this mooladhara chakra is ruled by this mooladhara chakra is at the base of spine it is ruled by mercury it is red in color and it have lam bija so any tantric mantra which have lam as a bija as the seed syllable activates mooladhara chakra when mooladhara chakra is good 
when muladhar chakra is positive it gives you a sense of security humility makes you grounded gives you stable thoughts keeps you energetic gives you optimum weight gives you healthy eating habits and elimination of things in your life happens smoothly whereas when the muladhara chakra is negative there will be insecurity fear anxiety and stability low self esteem anemia person will be overweight underweight or there will be issues related to constipation so you should work on muladhara chakra or not first of all you should decide based on this good or bad traits secondarily when mercury is into problem he is supposed to create problem related to muladhara chakra so when you see mercury is bad in the horoscope automatically the focus of the person should be on muladhara chakra for which visiting the temple i have already told you remaining remedies i will tell you the next point is if if you want to remedy mercury then also doing things doing spiritual practices related to muladhara chakra that i am recommend recommending you will be highly transformative now you see remedies are of two three types if you want material benefits from mercury then in that particular scenario the gemstone of mercury etc is there the mantra of mercury as a god should also be done they will give you materialistic achievements the basic point is that you know like the mantras of grahas do not give moksha is the belief right so materialistic things if you want related to mercury then gemstone and mantra will do that but what about spiritual progress see the purpose is spiritual progress so if the traits of mercury the bad effects of mercury are hindering the spiritual progress your progress in life or if you are not able to internalize the lesson of mercury then muladhara chakra is the one. then muladhara chakra is where that should be done where it should be focused so muladhara chakra is ruled by ganpati any ganpati mantra will do the thing see because meditating on this image should only be done when you are properly initiated into kundalini sadhana doing any mantra with lam bija being prominent in the mantra should be done if you are initiated into tantra right see initiation into kundalini sadhana is different initiation into tantra or initiation into chanting of uh, you know durga saptashati makes you eligible for chanting lam mantra any mantra with prominent lam but common people what they should do they should chant any mantra of ganpati or any four lettered mantra for muladhara chakra the mantra that i will recommend is om gam ganapatiye namah om gam ganapatiye namah gan right ganas followers patiye the ruler of followers is the meaning of the mantra now because lam letter is at the center of muladhara chakra this is you know all the letters of sanskrit alphabet are also taken as matrikas they are matrika is a set of goddesses so basic basically what is happening sanskrit is a very alive language right so matrika the worship of matrika was very common in ancient india in tantra there is no progress without the blessing of matrika mantras work mantras are alive only with the blessings of matrika right so when you activate the chakra when you purify the chakra when you start getting the good results from the chakra what happens the matrika whose letter is in the chakra starts blessing you and when muladhara chakra starts blessing you then lamboshti the matrika which is there in muladhara chakra gets happy from you and she because she indicates great power of attraction and mesmerism these traits the power of attraction and mesmerism you already start getting she gives you non dual state of knowing and being it right so the soul and the manas the mind becomes one by her blessings 
anyone having problems related to sexuality or anyone thinking that they are not meeting the right people they are not meeting the right partner muladhar chakra is where they should focus the next chakra is swadhisthana chakra which is between genitals and navel that primarily indicates creativity sexuality reproduction and pleasure it is orange in color represented by vam bija when it is good it gives creativity joy healthy sexuality prosperity patience fertility and pleasure when it is bad it gives you guilt shame makes you irresponsible gives problems related to infertility sexual issues allergy eating disorders it is ruled by venus and you see it is according to me that swadhisthan chakra is ruled by venus and you see swadhisthana chakra indicates sexuality reproduction pleasure and all of these are natural significations of venus so when a true connection is made everything falls in synchronization for this particular reason astrology is called as super science for swadhisthana chakra for uninitiated people what initiated people should do i have already told you for uninitiated people devi worship is recommended specifically with six lettered mantras so these three mantras daridrya dukha bhay harani ka tadanya sarvopakar karanay sadard chitta mantra number 1 rogana sheshan pahansi tushta rushta tu kaman sakalan rishtan mantra number 2 tvamashritanam na vipannaranam tvamashritam yashretam prayanti mantra number 3 any of these three mantras which is from durga shapta shloki can be done for the purification of swadhisthana chakra when it is purified when the swadhisthana chakra is good for you varada matrika blesses you which gives you wish fulfillment makes your life auspicious and all your endeavors have favorable outcomes so once swadhisthana chakra is good for you you don't have to check muhurta for anything you do anything at any given point of time that gives you good result only that leads you to success only the next chakra is manipur chakra which is between navel and solar plexus ruled by mars and according to me because it is ruled by mars naturally also it indicates power self esteem and strength it is yellow in color and indicated by ram beej that is agni beej now see when the manipur chakra is good it makes you energetic gives you good strength makes you confident makes you strong willed gives you mental balance gives you good health makes you confident and active when it is negative it gives you guilt lack of energy weakness allergy fatigue related issues low self esteem worthlessness you feel and worthy there are digestion and liver related issues for uninitiated people the worship of skand the worship of ram visiting their temples doing the vrat fast of skand sashti ram navmi etc is very beneficial right so anything related to skand and ram visiting their temple you should be done that should be done i have mentioned the name of the deity in mantra chanting the 10 lettered mantra of ram loka viramam rarang dhiram rajiv netram raghuvansh natham karunya roopam karunagaram tam shri ramachandram saranam prapadye this mantra should be chanted how much chanting should be there one mala every day is okay if you wish to do the practice for long otherwise any number that you are comfortable with can be done just make sure the number should be odd so one time three time 11 time 27 time 51 time is there or if you are doing malas then odd numbered malas one mala three mala five mala seven mala every day should be done when manipur chakra is completely purified rakta matrika blesses you that makes your soul clean negativity is deplete from your life you have new zeal and drive in your life and accomplishment of higher spiritual goal of salvation is there and one gets vaak siddhi that means whatever they say that comes true and because ram is an agni beej that is in manipur chakra it makes you powerful and with power comes great responsibility that is represented by vaak siddhi so whatever you will tell that will come true so you will have to be careful with whatever you tell once manipur chakra is activated is purified one should not talk bad of others or themselves even by mistake this is the responsibility 
नेक्स्ट इज अनाहत चक्रा दैट इज एट द सेंटर ऑफ चेस्ट रूल्ड बाय सैटन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन द राशि एक्वेरियस ऑफ सैटन इज नोन टू इंडिकेट हृदरोग that indicates anahat chakra indicates love acceptance and compassion this is green in color and yam bija it indicates when it is good it gives you love in life makes you empathetic you become open hearted you become serene you become emotionally balanced you get trustworthy people in your life and you have good quality of tolerance when it is bad feeling of loneliness is there everyone around you is lot highly demanding you are critical people around you are critical of yourself jealousy related issues there cold hearted natural issues there you become narcissist you have narcissist people around you heart and lung diseases asthma and allergy is there worship of shiva visiting the temple of shiva doing spiritual practices related to shiva should be done and mrtunjay mantra om trambakam nijamahe sugandhi pushti vardhanam urvarukam eva bandhana nirchara mokshyam amrita that should be done when anahat chakra is purified and balanced yashashuni matrika blesses you that gives you immense glory people respect you they get attracted towards you you have spiritual glow in yourself all the knowledge opens up to you then even without learning anything or reading about anything you get to know the essence of the thing generally you see spiritual people are not much learned but they know the essence of everything this comes by the blessings of yashashuni matrika who resides in anahat chakra it gives you a new light and realization of new self from here the realization of soul the realization of super soul being one with the divinity comes into function the next chakra is suddhi chakra that is in throat ruled by jupiter that indicates communication and self expression so communication self expression related issues are there vishuddhi chakra should be focused jupiter related issues there vishuddhi chakra should be focused which is blue in color and represented by hum bija those who are initiated into durga saptashati etc can do hum 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 like this also they can do while meditating on while meditating on the form of vishuddhi chakra that you see on your screen but only for initiated when vishuddhi chakra is in a good condition it makes you peaceful truthful people around you talk good talk good things negativity is at far away from your life and you have a strong self expression when it is in a bad condition one becomes shy unnecessarily shy right in some areas you should never be shy but you become when vishuddhi chakra is not in a good condition the voice is weak one have fear of speaking one is unable to listen to anything right they are impatient they just want to talk don't want to listen which hinders the accumulation of knowledge one have bad habit of lying arrogance related issues thyroid related issues hearing related issues and throat problems are there the rectification of vishuddhi chakra by uninitiated people should be done by devotion to vishnu specifically any incarnation of vishnu such as rama krishna etc or going to the temple of devi in a form where she is having multiple hands is recommended other than that chanting of purush suktam shri suktam devi suktam or doing any of the mantras related to krishna the most popular one hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare etc can be done when vishuddhi chakra is balanced and rectified hamsavati matrika blesses you that makes your true self uncover in front of you she helps you in attaining liberation and merging with the super soul makes you more purified that you become able to understand the leela the play the maya of god the ego gets crushed and after vishuddhi chakra is balanced ego is no more hindrance into anything as such after that comes agnya chakra that is also known as the third eye which is between the eyebrows this governs intuition vision of future and how you perceive things it is indigo in color and om the pranav mantra is the bija when it is good you become intuitive you get constant guidance from god that inner voice that inner soul is active 
positive inner soul is active negative inner soul dies you perceive everything in the right light you perceive everything with the guidance of god everything conveys a message to you you have the gift of clairvoyance you have good dreams you become spiritual you have mental strength and your vision becomes good this is not just the mere normal vision but even the internal vision of looking and looking inside people getting to know the intentions of people just by looking at them these things you get when it is bad when the agnya chakra is bad lack of intuition and imagination is there one becomes manipulative one panics a lot fears a lot have nightmares and have vision and eye problem and problems related to migraine agnya chakra is also ruled by jupiter and by devotion to vishnu in supreme form or by devotion to devi in her supreme form in her adi form as i have talked about kamakshya devi in supreme form worship of vishnu itself of the supreme form is done it should be done by an initiated people for the purification and activation of agnya chakra two chanting of two letter mantra such as namah shivaya namo narayan namo narayani or namas chandikaya these are the four mantras namah shivaya one namo narayan two namo narayani three namas chandikaya four chanting of any of these two mantras constantly and repeatedly will rectify the agnya chakra whose rectification will gives you the blessings of omkar matrika which makes you ever pure always you will always remain in a pure state of being and thinking it will give you a activation of pure consciousness super consciousness will get get activated and because of aushadhatmika matrika you will have curative powers so after the activation and balance of agnya chakra one can cure themselves from small diseases just by thinking about it. just by thinking about god and just by thinking of healing they can do it this you will generally see with reiki practitioners etc who just by their thought just by their you know just by their mental connection with you can heal you this happens with the help of agnya chakra this happens in its complete grandeur with the help of agnya chakra lastly sahasrara chakra which is at the top of head according to me is ruled by sun and moon you see the horoscope of ramkrishna paramahansa sun and moon in the ascendant and you know the story of ramkrishna and totapuri sahasrar chakra rules knowing and gives you connection to the spirit and universe at the same point of time this is the balance between spirituality and worldly life where the person one who have activated sahasrar chakra one who have been at the level of sahasrar chakra becomes paramahans right he is the one who have a permanent connection with god who have got salvation while living it very difficult state to achieve but can be done it is of let and white color and silence pure silence it represents when it is good one is spiritual blessed one feels unity one have wisdom knowledge about everything one is open minded one is peaceful one is ever connected to the universe and god and one have a small strong nervous system so you see the true spiritual aspirants such as ramana maharshi or ramkrishna paramahansa never talk bad about any practice any religion anything as such because open mindedness connection to the supreme happens and after that you are not affected by these mere things of hatred jealousy etc you are not affected by them but when it is into a bad condition mental disorders fear too much indulgence into materialism memory and learning issues apathy feeling broken or people breaking you in spiritual crisis mentally breaking you and a spiritual crisis happens the connection bit good connection between sun and moon gives activation of sahasrar chakra easily now see going up to the level of sahasrar is no game right but when the sun and moon are having a good connection that with proper practice and patience one can achieve it whereas when they are not well connected then it becomes a problem sahasrar chakra is ruled by param brahm and the reaching of sahasrar chakra should be done by sadhana proper guided sadhana done over years 
more than 10 years leads to Sahasrara Chakra. This is done by following the mark of yoga, following the path of yoga or dhyana. For normal people who are not initiated, etc., then chanting the Sahasranam of your Ist Devata, chanting the Sahasranam of your favorite God helps you achieve this. And Sahasranam of Goddess, you cannot chant without initiation, but the Sahasranam of Vishnu and Sahasranam of Siva, anyone can do just by having pure, complete faith in them. Hence, the chanting of Sahasranam should be done. Right? Lastly, <clears throat> there is one astrological secret based on these chakras that I will want to share with you. This is one of the biggest secret. Hinduism or not Hinduism, the Sanatan Dharma, rather the Vaidic Dharma, and I don't know how to put it in words, believes that the soul is wanting to merge with the super soul, the supreme God. And to reach to the next level of realization, the next level of spiritual, the next level of purity, soul takes one life after another life. So in every life, you do little bit of spiritual penance that in last, the soul meets with the super soul, supreme God. So in this birth, what your soul thought or what was the prime desire behind your soul coming into this life? What was that particular emotion? What was that particular milestone that the soul wanted to achieve? How to see that? This is my humble attempt into it. And just one of the techniques, you know, one tip of the iceberg that I am sharing with you right here. So the basic point is that the Mooladhara Chakra is ruled by Mercury. It indicates physical plane. So this physical plane. So you have to find the most powerful planet of the horoscope because that is the most powerful desire. See, horoscope will indicate Prarabdha Karma. Most powerful desire is indicated by most powerful planet. You can use Shadbal for it for people who are not initiated into my method of astrology. Those who are, they can find. Otherwise, you can use Shadbal. If Mercury is the most powerful planet, then it indicates Bhurloka physical plane. So to experience the physical happiness, the happiness that this world, the physical happiness that this world have to give, to experience it and to win over it, this life is there. So this Thana Chakra is ruled by Venus that indicates Bhuvah Loka, that indicates vital plane. So control over the vital elements of body through Hatha Yoga. Control over the vital elements of body by the practice of celibacy, etc. To achieve this particular feat, to achieve this progress, to achieve this milestone, this life is there. When Mars is the most powerful planet representing Manipur Chakra and Swahaloka, winning over the mental plane, winning over the thoughts and desires, not to become the slave of your mind, but to become the master of your mind, your soul have taken this body. If Saturn is the most powerful planet, the ruler of Anahata Chakra, then Mahat intellectual plane, perfecting the intellectual plane, right, is the purpose of soul. Right? So in this particular, in this particular setup, one should read a lot of Puranas and spiritual classics so that their thought, their thinking, the conclusions that they reach from their intellectual thinking should be in compliance with Dharma. When Jupiter is the most powerful planet, it is the perfection of spirituality. It is the perfection of spiritual plane for which the birth is there. Because Jupiter indicates both Vishuddhi Chakra and Agnya Chakra, both Janha Loka and Tapah Loka. So to do the spiritual sadhana, and specifically when we are into spirituality, we love a God and we try hating other, we start hating other gods. Sometimes this also happens. To transcend this, 
to internally realize that all gods, all religion, and everything in everything is one is the prime purpose for which this life happened. And when sun and moon, sun or moon are the most powerful planet, then the realization of absolute reality that this complete world is Maya only, God is true, the connection of God is the only truth, what is the true purpose of life, to explore it, to understand it, to, to have it always in your psyche is the purpose for which this birth have happened. And astrology, see why it is important to connect this to astrology, why I have connected this to astrology, because as I always say, the prime purpose of astrology is guidance. The purpose of astrology is not to predict financial trouble. The purpose of astrology is to say that this, this time can be financially challenging. Right now it is good and it is good for two, three more years. So right now if you go into saving, you can pass this troubled time with ease. In the same manner, the guidance of, you know, what the soul is here to do, that should be done through astrology. And once that is done, once that is done, it helps the, it helps you to find a way to which to do this, right? For this, I have connected it to planets. Though, traditionally speaking, it is the Sadhguru the real guru who will find it, find the karma of the soul, find the lesson that your soul have to learn just by looking at you and will guide you into that particular direction. Right? And as a good news, I want to share something with you. I was very reluctant to do it over these many years. But keeping in mind the requests, etc. of people, People have been requesting me and have been trying to reach me regarding this. I have specifically started a consultation specifically focused on spiritual guidance. So in this particular consultation based on Prashna and if you have your horoscope birth details then based on the Prashna and the horoscope I will be guiding you regarding your spiritual progress. That consultation option is available on my website. I will drop the link to that consultation in the description section below. Check out the requirements and eligibility. Eligibility is not there. Some requirements are there. You have to answer a few things and you have to clearly define what type of sadhana, etc. you are interested in, what type of God you are interested in. And if you are not specifically interested into anything, you also have to explicitly state that. And I will be spiritually guiding you if you are interested into that. Or if you are into... If you are interested into doing it yourself, then also it is very good for that, for to guide you, my YouTube channel is always there, right? Thank you for watching.